my friends, this is Brian, the Speaker for the Dead, coming to you tonight with a video about Star Wars. Now, I know there's lots of videos out there about Star Wars right now. In fact, you can't swing a dead cat without hitting a Star Wars video. But not mine. I don't do a lot of Star Wars videos. Um, I don't know why. I have very passionate about it. I just don't do a lot of them because so many other people do. And maybe they do them better than me. <laughs> but I wanted to do one because I think my voice needs to be heard on this subject. Now, I have a teeny tiny channel. It's small. It's, it's really insignificant when you, you know, I'm not, I'm not PewDiePie. I'm, I'm not Gary from Nerdrotic. I'm not Geeks and Gamers. And that's okay. I, I don't need to be them. And um, to, to still maybe contribute something to the fandom. Because that's what this is about. This is a crucial time and a crucial juncture. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. For us as a fandom of Star Wars. It's a crucial time in the affairs of the... <laughs> Suddenly in my head I was hearing Princess Leia's message to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, and that's how my brain works. My brain works in movie clips. Um, which is really kind of sad and fun all at the same time. Uh, it, it, it's one of those things where you just, I can't help it. That's just who I am. And I'm okay with that because I have a lot of fun doing stuff like that, especially with my kids and my family. We, we all just do that all the time. We'll just start quoting things because that's what movies are supposed to do. Movies are supposed to bring us together, are, are supposed to unite us around those moments in our life that all human beings have. Now, I did this video once already. <laughs> Pow. Wham. Kazap. First try. And, and I was watching it. There was nothing wrong with what I was saying, but suddenly I realized I'm like, good Lord, dude, you sound like the weatherman. Like, where, where's your passion? Where's your fire for this? It, and I, I have to be careful about my fire and my passion because it'll overdrive my microphone and, I'll, it'll distort everything out because that's happened before. Because, um, you know, they're, they're not meant to hold back crazy people who don't have a producer sitting in the room going, okay, dude, you need to take that down a little bit. Anyway, so this is my second try at this video because I, I don't want this to come off like just some fan. Like just some guy sitting in his, in his basement. I think we ought to. Because you know what? It's time we got passionate. It's time we got fired up. It's time that we fought the battles that need to be fought. That's my solution to our problem. Fight. To fight! Fight! I do not fight before! Never surrender! Never surrender! Now what do I mean by that? I don't mean grab swords and knives and guns and go out and do crazy stuff. I'm saying we need to fight the culture war on our terms using their own strategies against them you know i i i like the the twilight series i know everybody just went what not sure i deserve that i'm sorry i do i let me clarify that i like the books the books were good the movies were so bad. So bad. Ah! You've picked... Anyway, I'm not going to go off on a tangent on that because this video will go on for like hours. Um, anyway, but that... A lot of people blame what's happened on, on stuff like Twilight, where like fan fictions took over what actually happened, and then we got Fifty Shades of Grey from twilight i'm not even sure how that's possible it's, no and and that's the thing is that like people say that comic cons got ruined because of twilight the comic cons got ruined and things went wrong because we let them you see nobody can do something to us or to you without your permission Okay, they can, but that's called a felony. That's 
you know, so, I mean, there's, there's laws and stuff. Anyway, but fandom wise, choice wise, no, no, you have to let somebody ruin something for you. You have to, you have to let them get inside your head. You have to let them take over and ruin everything that you love. They can't just do that without your participation. Now, I got into the fandom menace and became part of the fandom menace because of Ryan Johnson. <laughs> Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams, who decided to trash some of my favorite franchises. J.J. Abrams first wiped out Star Trek and ruined it, which was even bigger to me than Star Wars. And I love Star Wars, but, you know... Uh, I, I spent way more time involved in Trek than I did in Star Wars. But I still love them both passionately. But he ruined that for me. He, he, he destroyed that for me. And I let them. I let them destroy that for me. But that, not anymore. I don't watch their stuff. I don't watch Discovery. I don't watch anything to do with what they're producing of Star Trek now. Because it's not Star Trek. It's not what Gene Roddenberry put out. It, it is nothing of the kind. Now they've done the same thing to Star Wars. With The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and Rise of Soy Walker. They, they, they took something that was magnificent and brilliant and all-encompassing and made for everyone. And, and made it for like 15 people who hate their lives, drink soy lattes ruin everything they touch, and don't really love anything or anybody. That's who they made those films for. Those films could never have been made for Star Wars films because there's nothing truly Star Wars about them other than some of the places, the characters, some of the ships look similar. But, I mean, that's not Star Wars. That is, it's nothing like Star Wars. It's like spam, something posing as meat. Well, this is something posing as Star Wars. This is not our Star Wars. This is not the Star Wars, okay? There isn't our Star Wars and their Star Wars. There's just Star Wars. And they can only take it from us if we let them. Now, I watched a video the other day from Nick and Coach with Echo Base Network. I I would tell you guys, go watch them, go, go support them. I, I'm not as familiar with them as some of the other channels. I've never been directly involved with them or done streams or anything with them. But you know what? They're fighting this fight. They're fighting with us. They're fighting with me. They're fighting with you. They're fighting for, with everybody who wants our fandom back, who wants our entertainment back, who wants our mythos back. We want it back. And we want it the way it was, not the way you've changed it. Anyway, I watched a video with them that talked about uh, something that happened on uh, Star Wars Theories channel. And he's fantastic. Go watch his stuff. He's very positive, very uplifting. Did, uh, get let loads of subs. He's, 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 a, he's a great leader in our community, in the community. I don't know that he's necessarily fandom menace, but he definitely is a mega fan of Star Wars. And... That's what we need to be. We need to, and, and he's a uniter. He's not a divider. He talks about some of the things that are wrong, but he spends more time talking about what he wants to see, where he wants things to go. He's made his own fan films. He's, he's done everything he can do to build Star Wars because he loves Star Wars. He's read everything Star Wars. He knows the characters. He knows, and that's what real fans do. They go in and they find out what the creator wanted, what the, what the creator did. They, they, they read the books. They go to the movies. They buy the toys. They do all this stuff. And these people that they're making Star Wars for now don't do any of those things. They're, they're not there to buy the toys. The toy sales are in the toilet. Nobody's buying the toys anymore because they're horrible. Nobody likes the characters they're making now. Why would you buy something like that? No! No! That tells you that the people that they're playing to don't care aren't interested yeah they might go to a movie yeah they they might buy the movie on blu-ray but then they're never going to do anything else further with it than that and then they're going to call themselves star, star wars fans now i want to discuss something else real quickly and i'm going to do a video just on this 
But this whole idea of calling people normies, uh, of, of demeaning people who want to become part of a fandom, that needs to stop. That needs to go away, whether it's in comics and movies or whatever. Okay, But I also do believe in gatekeeping. Okay, There are certain people, like you don't let them into your fandom. You don't let them become part because they are there to do nothing but destroy everything that you hold dear, everything that you love and want to be a part of. Okay, But just because somebody doesn't know everything about Star Wars, my kids didn't know everything about Star Wars. At one time... They were newbies. One time I was a newbie. One time you were a newbie. We've all been newbies. We've all been people who, normies, newbies, whatever you want to call them. We've all been there. Instead of keeping them out of our fandom, instead of, instead of driving them towards this new Star Wars High Republic and all the garbage that they're putting out, maybe we need to help them learn what Star Wars really was. Not by demeaning them and calling them normies, by going to them and saying, hey, I, I see that you don't understand some of the cool things about this. Let me, let's, let's talk about it. Let's get involved. See, that's what Star Wars fans used to do. Star Wars fans used to bring other people into the fandom. Other people that get excited and say, hey, have you ever seen Star Wars? No, really? Like, come to my house this weekend. We'll do a movie marathon. We'll, I'll make popcorn. We'll, we'll do something great. I'll tell you all about it and stuff like that. They weren't crazy psychotic like some of us can get about science fiction. I'll admit that. But they brought people in. They made you want to be a part. You saw the lines of people that were dressed in costumes. And then they were laughing and having fun. And you wanted to be a part of it. You, you, you didn't want to necessarily stand in the line till you saw that it wasn't just a line. It was a phenomenon. It was, it was something amazing, something that you were, you were going to have as a memory for the rest of your life. I have memories about the first time I went to Star Wars in the 1970s and the 1980s. I have those memories. I remember getting in lines of cars going to the drive-in. The line was so long, we couldn't go. We had to leave and come back the next night and come into town like two hours earlier than we did so that we could actually go see Star Wars at the drive-in. And I saw Star Wars in a drive-in for the first time. Huge freaking screens. I wish drive-ins were bigger. I wish, I wish drive-ins would come back and make a huge comeback because they're awesome. Great memory builders. But that's how I saw Star Wars for the first time. That's how, that's how I got to see the, the, that huge ship chasing Princess Leia's Corvette. The Star Destroyer raging across the screen, flashes and light bolts and laser beams. And I mean, that's what Star Wars is. Star Wars brings you in. And that's what we need to do. We need to start bringing people in. Don't, don't gatekeep everybody. Don't gatekeep people because they don't understand. Teach them what Star Wars really is. What, really, what it really means. Don't be an asshat about it. Oh, come on. You gonna leave me all alone here with less angry Rosie O'Donnell? That's what they are. That's what they want to do. They want to keep people who love something out of out of something that they want to change and corrupt. We don't need to be those people. We need to be people like Nick and Coach and Star Wars Theory who are talking about good things and great things. And yeah, they bring up the negative stuff, but they talk about the positive stuff and what we need to do. And that's what I wanted to do tonight. Because they're right. They were talking about a hashtag, which I don't know why everything has to be in the form of a hashtag now, but it's the time we live in. It's, it's like having a rotary phone in the 80s. You know, it's just, it's, it's what everybody uses. It's what you got to use. And the hashtags are what everybody uses right now. So that's where we are. But their hashtag, what they wanted to do was release the Lucas sequel trilogy and, and kind of piggyback off the momentum that, that the fandom has gained from the release the Snyder cut movement. That, that was, that was a great template for how to start taking back our fandom, how to start taking back our entertainment to make the fans, the driving force, not the investors, not the, not the head of Lucas, who's a idiot bimbet, 
we need to be the drivers. We need to force them to go where we want them to go by not supporting the crap that we don't like and supporting the stuff that we love. And when people ask us, well, why aren't you supporting this? Don't go like, it's, it's all SJW. It's just like, just, just say, because it's not really Star Wars. It's, it's not what I fell in love with. Let me tell you what I fell in love with. And that's what we need to do. And if it starts with a hashtag, awesome. But I would suggest a slightly different hashtag because uh, you can't release something that was never made. Um, so I think we need to start a hashtag that's make the Lucas sequel trilogy. So that they know what we want done. They can't release it if they never made it. And and when we when we start going down this road, and, and it doesn't matter, use any either either of the hashtags, all the hashtags about Star Wars. Get George Lucas back. Uh, you know, hashtag, you know, Dave Filoni for president of Lucas. Uh, John Favreau for president of Lucas. Hashtag this. Hashtag, hashtag for what we want. Build something. Don't hashtag uh, Star Wars now sucks. Hashtag. We need to become the positive people. We need to make them look like the crazy psychotic lunatics that they actually are. Not allow them to turn us into the crazy people who are raging and railing and angry all the time and, and look like crazy people. We've all had that phase and I've been there. That's how I got into this. I was so mad over The Last Jedi. So mad I couldn't hardly see straight. Like I said, and I'm not even the biggest Star Wars fan. I don't know how the the mega fans took it any better than I did. And I'm a big fan. But I mean, I it just it just was not Star Wars. It was it was a I mean, The Force Awakens was at least mildly Star Wars, but The Last Jedi was nothing to do with Star Wars. That was a, a completely different movie, dressed up to look like Star Wars. That that wasn't a Star Wars film, at all. It was just awful. And, and the the Rise of Soy Walker wasn't any better. I felt bad for all the people that were in that movie. They 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 all their time, energy, and effort and acting was wasted on crappy films, on crappy writing with crappy directors doing crappy things. And it's sad. It's sad. But I don't want to dwell on that anymore. I want to move ahead. I want George Lucas to come back. I, I I want Dave Filoni and John Favreau and people like them who love Star Wars, who love what Star Wars really is, and get them in charge to back them up to make the outcry of the fans so huge that Disney can't ignore it anymore or don't want to ignore it anymore because they see dollar signs. And we're just going to show them the dollar signs are over here with Dave Filoni, George Lucas, and John Favreau, and everybody like them. And you know what's on the other side? No money. Or very little money because the people you're playing to don't care. Aren't going to buy your merchandise. Aren't going to buy the, the toys and the plushies and the pop bowl, funk dolls and whatever else people come up with. But we need to start by building our communities bigger, better, faster, more inclusive. And I don't mean inclusive the way that everybody else seems to mean inclusive these days. I mean, bring people in, go get new fans and introduce them to Star Wars the way it was meant to be seen. Introduce them to what was great, to what George Lucas did. Young kids who haven't seen it yet. Sit them down, have them watch it and see and, and, and fall in love with it the same way we did. That's what we need. That's what we need to do. We, we need to gatekeep the people who would only get into it to corrupt it from within. And we need to include every single person we can get. We need to, re, we need to reinvigorate old fans to come back and support us, to cry out. Don't just go to work and come home and fall asleep on the couch. Get on your computer and talk about Star Wars. Write stories about Star Wars from the way George Lucas would write stories about Star Wars. Get on and do what people like Adega Outlaw are. Write books about your own science fiction or write fan fiction about Star Wars. And get on your channels and make it a big deal every week. 
to put out a new chapter in a book that would make George Lucas proud. And that's how you need to come at this. Don't come at this from, I'm going to make my own Star Wars. It's so, uh, it's so my own and so... No, because Star Wars isn't yours. Star Wars belongs to George Lucas. I don't care if Disney bought it. He still owns it because it's in. it was his. And it's his brainchild. He's the one that created it. He's the owner. You need to go at it from the point of, will this make George Lucas happy? Would this further his story? Would this make his characters even better? We need more people doing what Timothy, Timothy Zahn and others did. Go out there and create a huge universe of characters, of different storylines, different takes, different ways of going. But always with the thought of, would George Lucas want this? Would George Lucas approve of this? And he may not approve of all of it, but he's going to approve of most of it because that's the way you went at this. You came at this from his perspective. You came at this to help him build the universe, not tear it down and restructure it and fill it full of diversity and inclusion, which it already was. It just wasn't talked about. It wasn't put on public display. I have no idea what gender or what sexual orientation the guy with the big long nose that calls the empire to tell him that the Millennium Falcon's about to fly in the first movie. I don't know what that guy's, the character's name is. The one, yeah, he talks like that. I have no idea what his sexual identity was. I know his skin was like a purpley black color and he had a big nose and yet he was still in Star Wars. He was included. Oh my gosh. Who knows what he was? And you know what? I don't care. I don't care who he slept with. I don't care what he had between his legs or if he had nothing between his legs and it was under his armpit. I don't care. Do you understand? I was there for the story. I was there for the vision, for the grandeur. That's what I wanted out of Star Wars. That's what we all wanted out of Star Wars. That's what George Lucas wanted out of Star Wars. And we can be that all over again. But we have to be working on building something, not tearing it down, not attacking the people who are attacking us. Who cares what they're doing? Who cares? Why listen to anything they're saying? Because they're only going to distract us. They're only there to detract from what we need to be doing. They win. If they get inside of our heads, and if we spend all of our time trying to defend ourselves against these asinine claims that they make against racist, bigoted, homophobes, Nazi, whatever, then they win. We spend all of our time trying to defend ourselves against crap we already know wasn't true. We already knew. We don't need to do that. We need to start hashtags like join the resistance. Join the rebellion, not the resistance. Good Lord, that was, but it's the same thing. It, it can be the same thing. Join the rebellion. That needs to be the hashtag we get trending. Join the rebellion. Call ourselves the rebellion because if, I mean, if, if the, if Disney corporation and Fox corporation and all of these entertainment corporations have not become the evil empire, I don't know what is. Maybe other than world governments right now. But we're not worried about those. We're worried about our entertainment. And that's what we need to do. We need to start these these movements, start these hashtags, become the, the Snyder people except for Star Wars. Lucasites, whatever you want to call us ourselves. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Come up with something cool. Tell stories. Bring new fans. Bring old fans back. Make film, fan films, but do it good. Don't make a crappy fan film because that doesn't, you know, every time somebody makes a crappy fan film, George Lucas sheds a tear. So don't do that. Uh, but I mean, don't let them divide us. Don't let them take, don't let them take our eyes off the ball. We need to stay focused and we need to build, 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 build. Never stop building never stop growing our communities never stop growing our fans our 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 fan groups start start a new star wars fan group in your hometown and 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 have people come and and do an open popcorn movie night where nobody pays anything this isn't about money this isn't about earning money this isn't about stealing intellectual property this is about just getting together as a group of people watching a movie and eating popcorn and they can't stop us from doing that they can't. They can't stop us from spreading what we love. 
But we can make them look like the lunatics they are for spreading the hate that they do, for, for trying to create the hate that they're creating. They're, they're, they're trying to make us the monster. Don't let them make us the monster. They already are the monster. We just need to point it out. We just need to point to them and go, see, that's what you want to run from. See that blue-haired, psychotic person over there screaming about diversity and inclusion because um, I don't know what. I don't know why. Because, because there, there wasn't a pink-haired lesbian in, in Return of the Jedi. There could have been lesbians everywhere in the Return of the Jedi. Guess what? Nobody cared because that's not what the story was about. That's not what the story was supposed to be about. It's not what the story should be about. It should be about something bigger than something so petty as to who you sleep with. So I'm a small channel. I'm small, but I'm passionate. And I want this to be a great thing. Go watch Star Wars Theory. Go watch Loki's Mornings of Mischief. Go watch Echo Base Network. Go go watch anybody, Nerd Rotic, uh, Geeks and Gamers, whoever you, whoever inspires you to be better, to be a better, more active fan than you were before. You don't have to be crazy. You just have to be passionate. That's what we need, passion. We need to make people want to stand in those lines again. To dress up like Darth Vader and stormtroopers. And, and no, that doesn't mean you want to be a Yahtzee. We, to, to dress up like a Jedi, your favorite Jedi. No matter what color his lightsaber is. That's what we need to do. We need to be those people. The people that everybody wants to be around. And, and make the other people look like what they are. Loons and nut jobs and crazy people who will just who will suck the joy out of every situation because that's what those people do. Kathleen Kennedy, she has no joy. She has no joy in her life. She has no joy in Star Wars. The only joy she has is in tearing it apart to try and make it about women, about the force being female. Last time I checked, George Lucas said there never said anything about the force having a gender. You guys are a little obsessed with gender. You need to get over it. But I mean, that make them look like the nut jobs they are. Make it make Disney realize that she's just going to cost us money. This is going to be the worst thing ever. We we got to uh, no, we got to get rid of her. We got to get rid of all these people who are trying to do everything but be a part of Star Wars. Who are who are trying to make Star Wars something it was never intended to be. Help me build this. Help other people build this. Help build it yourself. Start your own channel. Talk about Star Wars and what you loved about it. Not the new one. Because that's not Star Wars. Anyway, let me know what you think. I think we can do this. I think we can build this back better. Oh, good Lord. I just used a Joe Biden slogan. I feel dirty. I said something a politician would say. I'm going to have to go wash myself. And when I said it with my Star Wars shirt on, gal. <sighs> Lord, I, I apologize. I apologize, Lord Vader. Um, anyway, let's, let's do this thing. Start the hashtag. Write your stories. Sing your songs. Do, do whatever it takes. But let's make them hear us. Let's shake the foundations of their corporation till they realize this is where the money's at. It's not over here. We're cor they're a corporation. Sooner or later, no matter how woke they think they are, they're going to follow the money. Because if they don't, they'll go out of business. And then all their high fluting uh, psychotic values don't mean anything to anybody. I mean, if, if they keep trashing this, hey, great. You know what? Here in, I don't know, 10 years, we can probably pick up Star Wars, the IP, uh, you know, in the bargain bin. You know, I mean, some of us might have, you know, Star Wars Theory or somebody may have, you know, got enough money through YouTube or whatever that somebody with a brain can buy Star Wars. Because, you know, when when Disney folds and goes bankrupt, you know, somebody's got to end up with that stuff. So, anyway, get out there, support what you love. Don't worry about the people who hate. 
Who cares what they think? Don't worry about them. Make them make them the punchline of your joke because that's what they are. They're nothing more than the punchline. Punchline to their own own terrible life story. And we don't need to worry about them. We need to worry about the people who we can show and share this great fandom with. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you next time. Bye now.